welcome to the viewers so in the study sessions we learned about assignment statements and delays and today we are learning about expressions operators and operands here i have some pre written things which will be helpful for carrying out the today session the session first we'll look into expressions so expressions are constructs that combine operators and operands here this xor is an uh, operator symbol is an operator a and b are operands in total for an expression it's a combination of operator and operands so we have certain examples here address 1 which is of 20 down to it's a vector of part select wherein we are just selecting a part of the vector from 20th bit to 17th it's like 20 19 18 9 17 total four bit four bit plus four bit addition it is next expression example is i in one or with i in two so this is uh, expression again because we have operands as well as operator So now, the next part is operands. So these operands can be any one of the data types, and data types we have uh, are, are very well aware of it. We have data types such as constants, integers, real numbers, nets, registers, times, bit select, any of those. Let me write few things here. For example, nets, registers. real time integers all these are some of the other type of data types operands can can be declared with any of the above data types here are the some examples that we will look into integer count is equal to count plus 1 so here we are defining a count variable which is of type integer and we are doing we are building an expression out of it wherein we are adding one or incrementing count Next example, we have declared three variables of type real, and we are performing a subtraction, and we are assigning it to the real variable C. So register out is again a register. Uh, here the declaration has not been shown, but it is understood. Here we are doing an XOR operation, bitwise XOR operations between register one and register two, which is of four bits. And next register value here. we are assigning this lhs with the rhs the rhs has a function onto the uh, function which is passed with two arguments a and b so this with this we can understand that we can have uh um uh, uh, memories or even function calls or part select or even scalars vectors of any data types as an operand Now coming to the operators. So operators, we have many number, many different kinds. We can classify it in uh, many different uh, types of operators. So here are certain operator type. The first one being arithmetic operator. These are the symbol. I can write it as symbols. And next, what it perform? Operation performs. What it perform? And number of operands. it operates on that i'll be writing here so this star symbol performs multiplication operator this is division operator this is addition operator this is subtraction operator this is mod operator which gives you a remainder for all this the number of operands needed are 2 next is a logical operator So the logical operator it is a negation. Negation. This is this is a logical and logical and and this one is logical or and for this I need one operand to use this negation and for these two things I need two operands. Like a logical ended with b, 
A logical odd with B like that. So coming to the relational operators. So relational operator, we have four different kinds. The first one being greater than, greater than. Second one being less than. This one greater than or equal to, greater than or equal to. And this is less than or equal. So for all this, the operands required are two. So coming to the equality operator. So for equality operator, we have four kinds. This is to check the equality. This is to check the inequality. This we call it as case equality. We will uh, study about the differences between case equality and equality in the example section. This is case inequality case inequality. For all this, the operands needed are two. All these are bitwise operations which we most commonly use. This is a NOT operation. This is AND operation. This is OR operation. This is XOR operation. This is XNOR operation. NAND and NOR. So after you write A ampersand B and close it in a bracket and then use a negation outside to the left. That makes it NAND and similarly for the NOR. For all these bitwise logical operations, we need two operands. Next, we have reduction operator. In this reduction operator, we have six kinds. Here, again, we have AND, NAND, OR, NOR, XOR, XNOR. For all these things, for all these reduction operators, the operands needed is one. This is very important to be noted. So reduction operator, bitwise operator and logical operator. All these looks alike. The difference is in logical operator and bitwise operator. I'll, I'll tell you this the difference in the example. And reduction operator, how it, differ, how it is different from bitwise and logical is. Here we need only one operand for all these logical operations. And or and so on. So now. The next operation we are focusing on is the shift operator. Shift operator. So shift operations, we have uh, two kinds of shift operator. The uh, first one is shift right and next one is shift left. So here, most important thing, uh, here again we need uh, two operands, two operands. Most important thing in shift operator is whenever you shift a variable, the vacant places, the vacant space is filled with zero. Vacant space is filled with zero. That's a very important thing that you should remember. Then comes the concatenation operator. Concatenation operator is a flower bracket. So if you want to join two different uh, vectors or two different scalars, you should write it within the flower brackets separated by commas. This is one more kind of uh, concatenation operator wherein we use this for replication. We use this for replication. So then we have conditional operator. The conditional operator is a ternary operator. It's a ternary operator. We use it as if like uh, if else statements that you must uh, know or you must be knowing uh, when C programming. So now we have examples of all the operators that we have discussed. First we will check into arithmetic operators. So here I have taken again I have two types in arithmetic operator. One is binary and the other one is unary operator. So first we will focus on binary operator. I have taken some example wherein I have declared a 4-bit variable A and I am assi assigning initializing a value of 0, 0, 1, 1. This is a format of writing a value or initializing a value wherein this specifies the bit width and the number of bits it, it, it is of and then it is the base format 
it is of binary and 0, 0, 1, 1 is a binary. Similarly, B has been assigned with 0, 1, 0, 0, D is equal to 6, E is equal to 4. If it is not specified in the above format, then you should consider it as by default a decimal format. Now we will just compute the values of few expressions example that we have just below here. A star B means a multiplication operator. So what should be the value of it? So this is a decimal equivalent 3. This is a decimal equivalent 4. 4 multiplied by 3. So your resultant value will be 4 3s are 12. And if I want to write it in the uh, same format of what A and B is written, this will be 4 tick B 1 1 0. That will be the value of A star B. Next is a divided d divided by e d value is 6 and e value is 4 6 by 4 will result in 1 point something so here the value will be truncated and the answer the evaluation answer will be 1 so a plus b is 4 plus 3 and your answer is 7 and if I want to write in the format specified above it will be 0 1 1 1 so b and a subtraction operator so here b is uh, b is 4 minus 3 so your answer should be 1 so again i write it in the same format 0 0 0 1 example 2 so here what is the thing i have considered is i have considered what if i have a unknown value unknown value I in 1 is declared with 101 1, unknown bit. I in 2 is declared with 1010. 1, 0. So this there is no unknown bit here. So when I use when I when I have expression here I in 1 is having an unknown bit. I in 2 is perfectly fine. We have a valid logic. When I perform addition and when I try to assign it with sum, then what happens is any one of the unknown bit if exists, then your value is also unknown. Remember it. Whenever you have a unknown bit, then your uh, sum will be assigned with or the expression will evaluate to unknown itself. Then I have few more examples. Uh, this is a mod operation. This is a mod operation. 13 mod 3 evaluates to 1. It's like the computation of remainder. 3. So if you compute at 3, 4 are 12, whatever remainder that will be having, you will get. So that will be assigned to the LHS if you have. 16 mod of 4 will result you into 0. What if, what if I have a minus 7 mod of 2? So in this case, it will evaluate it as minus 1. And 7 mod of minus 2 will evaluate it as plus 1. Here the things to uh, remember, the important point to remember is, the evaluation assigns a value of the first operand. So it takes sign from first operand. Remember this. Now we'll come to the unary operator. So unary operator example. So minus 4 is a subtraction. We have only one operand. Plus 5. One more example. And here I have a few more examples. Minus 10, it's a unary operator and then division, it's a binary operator. So if, if I compute this, I'll be getting minus 2 as a value. If it is specified in the format, wherein base format is mentioned, decimal uh, format it is, minus 10 it is. Minus 10 divided by 5. So if you write it in this form, then the answer would be somewhat different. So it will be 2's complement of the answer. 2's complement of so this will be considered as 2's complement of 10 divided by 5. So that value will be computed and it's as good as writing 2 raised to 32 minus 10 divided by 5. So whatever value it gets, that will be computed here. This again you should remember. 2's complement of 10 if it is written in this form. If you directly write it like this, it will, it will be taken in the same format. Sign will be written as it is. Okay, then we will cover this logical operator in the next session. Thank you.